All right, so let's move to the next step. That is, uh, I do have uh, two eyes over here. So one I will be making as a primary, second uh, one will be the secondary one. So let's go ahead and make that one. So if I go to my eyes one now, so if I go to the administration and go to deployment, and I should see the eyes over here. So click on eyes. And you see that it's already been primary. So you will give a, get an option like here, make primary. So I will do the same thing for the eyes too also. So I will go back to the administrator and I will go to deployment and select the eyes too. And now you see that it's given me the option to make primary. So I will make the primary. So at this point of time, uh, both of them are primary. So I will click on save. So it does take a time. Right, so it has been saved now. So if I go back to scroll up and you see that it is primary. So at this moment, both of them are primary. So I will go back to my deployment on ICE 1. So I'll click on deployment node list, click on register, and I will say that this should be ice 2swissable.com Username will be admin, password will be moise123 hash with capital M. Click on next and it should give you a certificate warning. Just click on import certificate and proceed. Now you see that you are getting this uh, problem here. So this is with respect to the virtual machines since we are in the evaluations. So if you get this problem, that means something is wrong with the virtual machine. So you have to reinstall your Cisco eyes. Now, if you come back to the topology, I do not require two of these eyes, so one is only enough because in the primary and the secondary two node deployment, primary will synchronize each and every details or data to the secondary. So basically, all the data which is available on the primary eyes will be available on the secondary eyes. So we do not require the secondary eyes in our topology for right now and in the coming videos also. So what I will do since we are getting this error now, I will just go ahead and delete the ice 2 and I will uh, give the ice one as a 32 GB RAM and 12 virtual CPUs and then I will reboot that one. So I will just log off this one and come back to my ESXi. And now to turn off the ice machine, what the command is. So let me take the party session one more. I will say ice 2 dot accessible.com and admin. Now to shut down the eyes, you will use the command halt and you will say yes and it will build a configuration and after that you will say yes and it will shut down the eyes. All right, so eyes is now shutting down. Now, the only difference here will be that once you make this one as a two node deployment, so primary will synchronize each and everything. And over here on this uh, node deployment list, you will see both the uh, primary and the secondary eyes over here and both of them status will be green tick mark. And also you will have one more option that is synchronization. So it will say that it is synchronizing <clears throat> or if it is synchronization is complete, again, you will get a green tick mark. So that for this is the two node deployments. I will now go ahead and I will change that uh, ICE one credential. So before I that before that, what I will do, I will go to the ICE one and I will make this one as a standalone itself and standalone and click on save. So that should make my ICE as a standalone. And from the coming videos, we can only use only ICE one. So once that has been saved, so I will go back to my uh, node was updated successfully and it's all good. All done. So what I will do, I will just log off. You see that it's already been logged off. And I will also log off and I will go ahead and I will turn off the shutdown the eyes. That will be a halt. 
so by default it is yes say yes and that's it and now it is going to shut down so coming back to my esxi machine now so if you see that ice 2 has already been shut down so it was pretty quick otherwise it will take at least 5 to 7 minutes to shut down also so now i have to wait until uh, my ice 1 is shut down so once that is been shut down i will change the resources and after that i will reboot that ice 1 All right, so ICE 1 is now shut down, so I will go back to edit and I will just change the virtual CPUs. That should be 12 and click on save and turn on that. So now it does take a lot of time <clears throat> to come up. So I will complete this video here now and from the next session, we will continue with the different topic. I hope this was informative for you and thank you.